Hi you, welcome in, I'm Sessis, and I thought we could spend Valentine's Day together watching a romantic movie. Maybe you're like me and you don't have any plans for Valentine's and maybe you also don't have anyone special in your life at the moment that you're spending the day or evening with. And then yeah, we could keep each other company and I thought we could watch uh, The Terminal together. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, Let's uh, watch the movie together. Copenhagen! I've been there and I've been to Montreal too. I don't like airports. I find them extremely confusing and they're usually also filled with people, which is generally places I don't like. What's the purpose of your visit? What is the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? I think the only time I've had to do this is when I visited the US. I think any other countries I have flown to or visited, I've never had to state why I'm there. Is that like a US only thing or is there other countries that does this too? Business or pleasure? English he me no good Oh, he doesn't know very good English at all. I have seen this movie before, but it's been years. I do remember that he's gonna get stuck here because something... Was it like a war in his um, country? <laughs> he's shaving <laughs> at the airport. You little taxi cab, please. Take me to Ramada in 161 Lexington. He's been practicing. Keep the change. Look at his facial expressions. He's such a good actor. No, your return ticket. Your oh, oh. Why don't they have a translator? No, Mr. Navorsky. That passport. Are they really allowed to take your passport off you? Navorsky, sorry to keep you waiting. How are you? Oh yeah. He is the bad the bad guy, right? There was a military coup in your country. Ah, now, most of the dead were members yeah. of the presidential guard. Republic of Krakosia is under new leadership. Krakosia! Krakosia! <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think he, he gets it. Okay. No, you obviously need a translator. Imagine that these potato chips are Krakosia, uh, okay? Where is he going with this? Uh, and this apple... Big apple. Big apple. The big apple represents the Liberty Rebel. Why is it called a big apple, like New York? Why would you waste... Perfectly good crisps like that. I wouldn't mind having some crisps. Which means that your passport and visa are no longer valid. So currently, you are a citizen of nowhere. I haven't noticed that before. Of course he has a poster in his office with the word success. Uh, we can't allow you to go home either. Right. Of course. And the thing is, you don't really have a home. Yes. You don't. Technically, it doesn't exist. Can this scenario actually happen? Like in real life, is it possible that you would then be like stuck? You can't enter and as he said he can't go home free to go anywhere you like within the confines of the international transit lounge okay 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 i don't think he actually understands is this movie like close to Costaway? i feel like he kind of looks to be around the same age or like these are food vouchers you can use them up in the food court your kokosian money is no good here why would he have his own currency with him? You are not to enter through those doors. You are not to leave this building. America is closed. Well, what, what do I do? There's only one thing you can do here, Mr. Navorsky. Shop. That's, that's true. Shop and um, sit and wait, usually in, a, in an uncomfortable manner. Meanwhile, a troubled populace has to wonder if they will ever find political stability. Oh, yeah, the news. Like, imagine if this happened in real life. The confusion you must be going through. The amount of stress that must be coursing through his body. Yeah, because he didn't understand anything what they were saying before. Last night, a military coup overthrew the government of Krakosia. Bombing and gunfire were heard through the night. This is a made-up country, right? He's really good at portraying these emotions. This is this payphone thingies again. I have to try using one of these someday if they still exist. Why wouldn't you help him? 
Please, please. Oof. I I would have a panic attack. Like I would I oof. It's a very good shot to further like solidify that feeling of that he is all alone. Oh, don't leave them like that. I thought someone was gonna steal them. Oh my god! <laughs> he broke it! God, this is Paris! This is my favorite bag! Oh, I can't believe- Oh, that was the vouchers. I thought someone stole them. But he, they, they went on the floor and they got cleaned up. Oh, no. Do you have an appointment? Uh, I'm oh. sorry, I don't let anyone to look at my trash without an appointment. <laughs> what? An appointment? Can't he just go back and say that he lost the vouchers? Like, surely they can make more. It's not like he, it's not like he actually cashed them, so it won't cost the airport anything more. These excuses are dust. I'm surprised he's just able to walk in here. This does not seem like a safe area to be in. But at least it's quiet. Maybe he can get some sleep. I'm trying to remember what was in that tin. Oh yeah, these chairs are so uncomfortable. I feel like we wouldn't even be more comfortable laying on the floor than trying to lay like that. Yeah, just, just lay on the floor instead. You can use your jacket as a pillow. Oh, oh I don't think you should be touching that. Oh. Well, that's nice at least. It will be a bit easier to sleep. Was it that he had like, was it like his dad's ashes or something? There was definitely something important about it with that. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. Starting today, you will assume the duties of acting field commissioner until you get approval from Washington. A promotion. And call the parents of those kids from Long Island. Tell them it was a bad idea to let them go to Jamaica. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, was that weed? That's a big bag. There's a man walking around the terminal in a bathrobe. I know, sir. You put him there. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> you notice things when you watch something for the second time that you might not have noticed the first time, like the weed bag. I don't remember ever connecting that dot before. I need this. Where's your green form? I can't do anything without your green entry form. Oh, I remember her. Wasn't she like a nerd or something like that? The light green form. Yeah, because they're not both light green color. <laughs> they're, they're different hues. It did, but they're both light green. Why the hell doesn't he walk out the doors? Why isn't he trying to escape? You told him not to. You told him to wait. Yeah, exactly. He actually do it. Well, some of us actually do follow rules. Well, there's no news from the State Department, but I think we can report him in a few days. Yeah, it could be a few days. It could be a week, two weeks, a month. And he has his promotion to worry about. Hello. Oh, is it Tuesday now? Food document trash. Tuesday. Tuesday, I had the Tuesday. Oh, he doesn't even remember him. Crackers and ketchup. And mustard and some kind of beige stuff. At 12 o'clock today, the guards at those doors are going to leave their posts. And the replacements are going to be five minutes late. Is he gonna understand all of this? So America not closed. <laughs> no. America for five minutes is open. I don't remember him leaving. So what's all of this about? You're so close! Just a few meters and you'll be outside! What's so complicated? Exit vector. Come on. A couple of minutes you're gonna be somebody else's problem. He doesn't want to break the rules! He doesn't want to do anything wrong. Call the airport police. Port authorities on his way. Why were they gonna call the police? Are they setting him up to be arrested? They're not letting him go? Oh! He knows he's washed. Yep. Come on, leave. Get the cameras. 
Yeah, it's a little late for that. Just go a little left. All right, all right. <laughs> like, hello. How many days has he been there? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh. oh shit. So that's how she was introduced. She is in that other movie I watched. The Sorrow movie, right? Wait, 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 wait. For you. Fearless shoes. Second floor. Sensible heels. <laughs> That's really sweet. The CIA put him here to spy on us. You Who is CIA? What are you talking about? That guy doesn't even speak English. He thinks Victor is CIA? Also, oh, she's CIA too? No, she looks like a Russian. KGB. He has some vivid imagination. Oh. Yeah, he's gotta be like starving. Just go eat it. Someone left it. Who cares? It's a shame to throw away food. Oh, you get money back when you put the cart there. What's going on? It's Savorsky. He's figured out the quarters. And they are just watching him for like entertainment. And none of them has thought of like giving him like ten dollars or something so he can eat they're they're just content observing him as some kind of like experiment or a zoo animal or something Keep the chitch. oh i haven't had burger king in ages gotta gotta get another hamburger oh Oh, not just a hamburger. Oh, this one has cheese too and fries. Oh, there's that music again. That's from his country, right? Oh, please sit and eat your very hard earned food before something happens to it. Piat, piat, in, in, it's gonna be so frustrating not to be able to understand. Did he pay for this with the, the money from the carts as well? Because books are more expensive than a Burger King meal, right? Cost of comedy hit France. Oh, so he's reading it in his language and then he's reading the same page in the english one it's a miracle a miracle <gasps> Corinne I know you love join it here. The he's doing so well it took me a long time to learn english i'm really crappy at learning languages you you have two steps one red one green so i have chance go new york 50 50. <laughs> Oh, that's not really how it works. And he's just standing there staring at him. Wow, that is so many carts. Maybe it would be better to just do a few at a time. I've created a new position here at JFK. Transportation liaison. And um, sir, what does... What yeah. would that person do? Exactly, what are you going to do? Ow! I'll take it from here. I'm transportation liaison. In charge of passenger assistance. Oh, he's such a nice, not a nice person. No carts, no quarters, no quarters, no food. I'll give him a few days before he barrels through those doors. And he wouldn't have to do the carts if any of you all were just like decent people and gave him some money and actually helped him out. Got him a translator that could explain the situation for him. Oh no, he's back to doing the crackers. I don't know if I could survive on crackers. Oh, it's her again! Wait, she remembers him? No, she's... She, oh, you... No, it's not for you. Yeah, there. Oh no, his cracker! Was he also like a pilot or something? Or why is he at the airport? That, that man she kissed. See, he's such a decent person. He's even going to clean up. 
something that wasn't his fault. You tried to take my map, you tried to take my floor. It's my no. job. He's trying to help. He's just being a dis. Touch it again, I kill you. Oh, wow. Oh, my! Oh! I don't remember this movie being quite this bleak. I'm Enrique Cruz. We need to talk. He got food. I need information on CBP officer Torres. What do you want to know? Well, you see her every day. The yes. lady? I want to know what, yeah. what make, makes her knees weak. Just ask her. I'm her man of mystery. A creepy man, rather. What? I cannot remember this. What do you mean, wild style? Like, just please stop comparing women to, like, animals or... <laughs> you don't like it? Something wrong with the salmon? They need the uh, gorchitsa. What is that? Mustard. Mustard? Mustard? Mustard, you, yes, you yeah. have. Please, yeah, yeah. please, please, please. Thank you. <laughs> Good own private little restaurant. The rockets. Can't afford it. What are, what are the rockets? Conventions. Oh yeah, I remember correct. She's she's a nerd. Some kind of what was it anime conventions, gaming conventions? She's a tricky. Yes, she's a tricky. So a tricky. Is that the like live long and prosper thing, or is that something else? I went. <laughs> if only more people were this like respectful about boundaries. Men with money. Or man with love. Why can't she have both? So she had a boyfriend. No. What happened? It shit. What? It shit, it shit, it shit. Ah, oh, he shit. He shitted. Officer Tories, if you been ever in the love. Enough, Victor. Wouldn't she become like suspicious by this time? Yeah. It's a man of misery. Man <laughs> of misery? You mean mystery? No, no. Misery. Man of misery. Oh, he's so sick. He's so in love. Oh, he wasn't saying it wrong. He's not in love, though. He's infatuated. There's a difference. That's... <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, what? Oh. That's good, right? I comment! I comment! I don't think that that is how the beeping, ad beeping machine works. But I... Oh! I've never had a beeping machine myself. It's a thing of the past, right? Uh -huh. Ooh, that's a nice sandwich. Uh, would you like something to eat? They look like you're starving. Oh. Oh. Now they will feed him. We have laws here that protect aliens who have a credible fear. Did he just call him an alien? I hate when they use that language. It's so dehumanizing. The courts are so backed up with asylum cases. The soonest you get before a judge would probably be six months from now. Again, where is the translator? You can go to New York City tonight. But you only get to go if we can establish a credible fear. Fear? He just wants him out from under his feet, right? He just want to get rid of him. He doesn't actually care about Victor. So I answer one question. Mm -hmm. Go to New York City uh -huh. tonight. 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 No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you at this time have any fear of returning to your own country? Uh, no. Okay. He's not like you. He isn't going to lie to get what he wants. You're afraid of Krakosia. Krakosia? Mm -hmm. no, I don't think no, he no, is. I'm not afraid from Krakosia. I'm a little afraid of this room. <laughs> Uh, understandably. I'm talking about human dignity. I'm talking about human rights. Yeah, maybe you should treat him with a little human dignity. I'm afraid okay. from ghosts. Okay, thanks very much. I'm afraid thanks very from much. Uh, yep. Dracula. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Dracula. But <gasps> <laughs> he's just laughing. That's not very nice. Nobody read the sign in a very <gasps> Oh! This is the only one I have. It must be pretty sad life if that is the most fun you have. Fly 27 hours straight, literally around the world. And now you tell me you're going to spend the 4th of July with your wife? Oh, there's no point in wasting tears on such a man at all. 
even if he leaves that wife of his, he has no integrity. He will most likely end up cheating on you too. He's not a good man, not a good human. You know why men are such assholes? No. Because they're all liars. Liars, period, are assholes. Fully agree with that. I never even asked him to leave his wife. I was encouraging him to get counseling. I mean, what kind of sick person am I? You probably have some kind of attachment stuff from how you grew up. I just wish the sex wasn't so amazing. Oh, if it's only the sex, seriously, that's not that hard to substitute. I just stare at him over room oh, Look, it's a Stockholm! That's in Sweden, that's where I live. This is my problem. I always see men the way I want to see him. Falling in love with the potential of somebody. Are we headed for home? Uh, no, no, I, I am delayed a uh, long time. Yeah. What do you do? I go from one building to another building. Bipper. Oh, <laughs> contractors. No, I don't think that's what he meant. You like Italian food? Yes, I do. I, I, I can't uh, go out. I am so, I'm so sorry. I, I am so sorry. I must come off like a complete nut job or something. N no, but you're potentially struggling with uh, rejection. At the very least, perceived rejection. In New York restaurant, what cost is cantaloni? I don't know, maybe 15 bucks? Dollars? 20. Two people, 40. That's a lot of money considering he has nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. He's going to try and get a job at the airport. I'm so sorry, sir. The position has already been filled. You're a liar. Do you live nearby? Yes, yes. Gate 67. Did you say gate 67? Yeah, gate 67. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's a joke. Telephone? Yeah. You need? I, I get. I get. Right. I get phone. He has a. Oh! Ow! I, I, I get. I get, get phone. How is he gonna get phone? Oh, the phone boot! Do they actually have numbers? You can call a phone boot? When's the best time to reach you? No. He looks so sad. Oh, is he waiting for the call? Yeah, they might not get back to you like that quickly. Oh! The manager of the Discovery Store. Ah, 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 Cliff. <laughs> yeah. Hello. How's it going? Good, 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 good. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I got to tell you that the position's been filled. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So. Could you please go sit someplace else? Yeah, I, I go to the bedroom now. Seriously, he couldn't have called sooner or walked out there and told him? Why are so many of these people just not very decent humans? At least in my own personal opinion. Oh, that's very hollow. <laughs> Maybe not touch stuff, it's falling apart. Is that how you use that tool? I thought you used that tool to put, like, spackle on the wall. Look at him go! Where all these materials just laying around in the area. Also, how does he know what it was supposed to look like? Look at this cornice. This is good work. Oh, did he end up hiring him? You, you give me chop? 630 years. Boss. <laughs> He's probably a very a, probably a very good employee. How is he gonna get paid though? Because like he doesn't have a bank account that you can put in the salary on. Have a seat. Here. 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 Another coastal cool little corner they made for themselves. I'm not going to play with him. Oh, Why not? Would you? He ain't a spy. How do you know? He could be recording everything we say. Well, so could you be doing? A microphone up in his hat. I don't think we're, that's where they normally put microphones. Would you feel better if we x-rayed him? Yes. Uh, is that safe to do? Oh. Did he actually go through the machine? Like, for real? We don't play for cash. We play for unclaimed items from the lost and found. How can they play games for that? What if someone comes and claims it back? <laughs> 
Wait, a whole fish? This is Joss. Jess? Jess? Joss, yes. Was his dad's name Jess? For tonight's grand prize, we have... Oh, I found this upstairs. Virgin Air. First class lounge. A pair of underwear? Those are Cher's panties. Okay, that's also a little creepy. So Victor? Oh, hi! Oh, they're meeting again. Victor, I think we're rewriting history right here. Why don't we talk about it over lunch? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I just asked you out again. To be fair, going out for lunch or for dinner doesn't have to mean that you're like asking someone out. You can just have dinner or lunch while hanging out with each other. It doesn't have to be more than that. Stay away from me, Victor. I'm, I'm, I have a serious problem. She has some kind of hurt that she needs to heal. I have to go. I have to stay. Story of my life. Oh, me too. It's so sad. I'm trying to remember if they like end up together at the end, if there was like, I think so, somehow. I believe they're paying him cash under the table, sir. I know that. How much? $19 an hour. Unbelievable. Do you know that's more than I make? Uh, of course he cares about that. Ask me if I wanted to join the big pool. Place What's a bet pool? on when Dvorsky was going to leave this airport. Have you heard about this? Because this man's life is just a game to you all. Not good people. So all I'm asking for is that you put him in a federal detention center and run a clearance on him. That's all I want. What? Dude. You tried the FBI? Yes, I tried the FBI. I tried everybody. <laughs> Nobody will take him. He tried the FBI. The people who are coming here today will be observing me. But most of all, they will be looking at the way that this airport is run. Let's show them why this is the number one airport in the United States. Well, it's not the number one because of you, I would wager. You just inherited it, I feel like. Situation upstairs. Well, it's gonna have to wait. This won't wait. What is it? They tried to take the pills away from him and he went nuts. Sir, sir, come down. Get your weapons out. Oh, no. He's from Russia. Okay. Now, the only interpreter we get is in North. He'll be here in an hour. Okay, we got So, for him, they have an interpreter. Why don't they have one for Victor? Victor. Oh, is that the toilet? Why is there no door? Exactly your dialect or whatever, but I need you to translate and help me out of the jam. Oh, so now you need him. You do that, and I'll let you back in the terminal. No, New down. York. No, no red stamp. Green, I green in New York. Okay, yes. You say yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I don't think he can actually promise you that. He, he bring, he, he bring uh, the medicine for his father. Oh, they're thinking that he has like a weapon or something? He needs to have the form signed by the local hospital Just for give his him father oh. and a doctor in Canada. Mm, uh, these medicines have to stay in the United States now that they're here. Reasoning. Why can't he just bring them with? What does it matter? That ain't gonna help. This man does not care about anything else than himself and his career and his fishes. Yeah. Victor sees him for what he is. I think. If he didn't know before that he's not a good man, he knows it now. God. What? Medicine is for God. Goat? Yes. Does that make a difference? I can't remember. Krakosia, the name for a father sounds like God. I make a mistake. He is lying, but he's doing it for a good cause. Still lying, though. You've been reading the immigration forms, the blue one. Blue? The one that says if it's an animal, he doesn't need the medicinal purchase license. Mm -hmm. you, you know it. Has he? Is he lying? Like, I don't feel like his English is good enough to, to read such a document and understand it. But maybe it is. He has been practicing. I want to hear him say who the medicine is for. Please. Oh, does he understand enough to say goat? Who are the pills for? What is he going to say? Goat. Medicine for goat. Yay! Give him the pills. He's not gonna like that though. Mm hmm. You love that goat. Do you think this is a game? What the heck? Dude! Well, Uncle Sam wipes his ass with Charmin 2 ply. Uh, oh, your true colors are shining through. Immigration gun was drawn. The diction was ready to fire. 
There were no guns involved. Who was it that saved him? Nawarski, Victor, the goat. Is that his nickname now? Now, the goat. Aww, they're all smiling at him. It shouldn't have to take him doing something like this for people to kind of like be more friendly towards him. Like the way many of them were treating him at the beginning. People, yeah. I know. People, compassion, Frank. That's the foundation of this country. I, know. Yeah. I don't think he has compassion. You could learn something from Dvorsky. Yeah, a lot actually. Sitting there with his feet up and I'm guessing he has a pretty like hefty salary, right? <gasps> the fish! Is that for me? Yes, yes. He is a virginal sail fish. He doesn't deserve a gift, Victor. I don't think it would fit on the wall. It's a little too big. He doesn't care. Oh, he didn't get the promotion. And what's in the can of peanuts? Bonus. Yeah, I think it's his dad, and he like promised to take his dad here, and maybe he like passed before he could do it. From now on, you and I are partners. If I stay, you stay. Ah, uh, of course. Will not set one foot in New York City. He's such a little man. Like this is the exact issue, the exact behavior that ended him in this situation. And instead of applying some introspection. And evaluating, he just chooses to completely not look at himself and just blame blame Victor. I could literally mail you anywhere in the United States. Hey, what about my foot? Uh, he can hide inside and we'll drive right no, out the no, front. No. I don't think he wants to break the law. Hey, you better be careful. You know those flight attendants ain't like regular women, Victor. You know, they're huh? flying back and forth between all those time zones, kind of messes with their biological clock or something. What? What the heck? Amelia Jane Warren? Oh, Jane. Oh, they're looking. Oh. Okay, this is not good. This is creepy again. When she come back? Uh, three weeks. Is he gonna be honest about that he looked this up and such? Because, hmm. <laughs> That's smart, like checking the reflection if he, if he, if he thinks he looks good in it. Amelia? Would you like to get it to bite? Eat to bite? She already asked you to go out and eat in your regular clothes. I do not think that you need to go and buy a probably somewhat expensive suit, right? I have no idea what the price of a suit is. I imagine it isn't cheap, right? Bite to eat. Bite to eat. Bite to eat. It is sweet that he's trying so hard though with the language. I had a wife and two kids in India. What? One day this policeman comes in and tells me I owe him some tax. Some kind of like corruption? I'm paying him and I'm paying him and I'm paying him. That's and not finally, right. On the fifth day, I take a knife and I stab him in his chest. Whoa! When they try to arrest me, I just run away. Yeah, you try to stab him. As long as I keep my floor clean, they have no reason to deport me. Hmm. That's not right. Oh, they're trying to order this. Manipulation! Watch out! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Victor. Like, can they please think about, like, okay, if we do this, if she ever finds out what we did to make this all happen, is that gonna be, like, creepy? And yes, it's going to be creepy. Would you like to have it to bite? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what time? Uh -huh. Dinner time. <laughs> Dinner time? Uh, I know place. What place do you know? Because he can't leave the airport still, right? Like, I don't remember him ever leaving. Oh, they're gonna eat at the airport. That is sweet of his friends to help, though, with making sure they're able to have a dinner. That is not please, how you please, pour please, wine. Please, please. <laughs> a lot of wine, too. Ten on me, please. Sorry. <laughs> so awkward, me. That's a great, great choice. Back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, some entertainment too! Oh, that's really sweet. Uh, you don't touch the bread. Okay. Another croissant was invented in Romania. It was? I did not know that. Oh. Sorry. Is that work or is it gonna be him? Oh, wow. Look at those plates. What the? Oh. That was impressive though, even though he did drop them. Never mind. It's a dumb story. No, it was not. Nobody really cares where the croissant was invented. Yeah, I care. I love learning about stuff like that. I'm 39 years old. No. Why is he so shocked? What does he think a 39 year old look like? I was 18 years old when I started working for the airlines. I've been wow. doing this over 20 years. That's pretty cool. That's why my address book is alphabetical by city and my pager will always go off during dinner. I mean, if you love your job, then you love your job, right? I know it's coming, Victor. That's why I can't break it off. I have my little suitcase packed, ready to go, just in case he wants to meet me for the weekend. <laughs> you deserve so much more. Wish you could she that herself. I'm so sorry. Oh, they don't go. Oh, wow, look at the plates. Is there some kind of trick to that, or are they actually balancing? I live here in Terminal Gate 67. All frequent flyers feel the same way you do, Victor. No, you're not hearing him. He means literally. What is that smile about? Oh, are you sure? Don't you need it for work or is it just for seeing that man? If it's just for the man, then yeah. Throw it. Oh, Victor, you need your beeper though. Well, when do you come back? 13 days. How about you? As he said, he lives here. They're watching him still. Are those like journals or... Oh no, they're water fountains. Um, I, that doesn't look good. There's water damage incoming. So he's a plumber too? Are those like broken pieces of china? So he's gonna make like, um, mosaic? I can't ask him what mosaic. he's doing. I'm supposed to tell him what he's doing. I ask him, I look like an idiot. <laughs> then just accept that you will look like an idiot. There are far worse things in this world. Please, do this for me. It will be the last thing I ask you to do. What is he gonna do? No, surely not. I cannot remember this. Oh, it's such a red flag. You don't get freaking engaged to someone you haven't even met. Oh, I did do the right side. It's the, it's the, the yeah. <laughs> oh, with the cans though. So. Okay, I guess it's kind of sweet, even though creepy and uh, yeah. Oh, Victor! Oh, oh! <laughs> You'll have to come with us, man. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I, I come through here twice a month. Is the angry man gonna intervene? Yeah, of course he is. He's there waiting. Yeah, she's not coming. All I know is that he's a building contractor living out of a suitcase. That's what he said? No, he did not say that. She filled in the blanks. I'm just curious. You are the kind of woman who can get any guy she wants. Of course he subscribes to that. That's something a guy like you could never understand. Mm-hmm. Surely with Victor's and all his friends now, some someone somewhere would know. Oh, she's yes, there. Your flight again. No, he's been telling you he lives here. You told me you were delayed. You never said it was for nine months. Well, he didn't really have the language to say more. You want to hear the funny part? I broke up with him. I got tired of waiting. Good for you. What is it? Oh, it's the thing he was working on. Yeah. It's pretty. It, it should shoot. Uh, big water. Just tell me the truth. Did you escape from an institution? 
Why would she? Why would she think that? You're living at gate 67. I just want to know why. I assure you. Hashan, he told her where she's from, like he's from Karkoshka, and she, she should be knowing what's going on there, right? Like she doesn't watch the news. My father. Oh God, Victor, please. It tell was me his father. father? Why would that be bad if he took his ashes? Oh, it's not his ashes. This is just fifty-seven of them altogether. He asked the nuns to write English hundreds letters, and they all sign names. Oh, autographs! That's why he came here. I remember now. There's there's an autograph missing. All but not one. Benny Golson. My father died before Benny Golson write his name in sin to my father. So I'm making promise. I, I keep the promise. That is so sweet of him. Have you been living here all this time so you could do this for your father? Maybe I think he'd do it for me. He's a good person. We all wait. What are you waiting for? You. I wait for you. Are they gonna kiss now? Oh, that is so pretty with the light. Okay, that is really sweet. I felt like there was like way more romance in this movie, like in my memory, than it has been so far. Like, there's been way more bleakness than like funny moments than romance. What is it? The war is over. Does that mean he can go back home? Spilling your drink. Let's have a toast to my friend Victor, mm -hmm. the goat. <laughs> May he never lose his country again. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he doesn't have to go through that again. Here, it's a pass, Victor. A one-day travel emergency visa with your name on it. Well, Just go to New York, find that last name, and put it in the can. That's so nice of her to arrange that for him. Your, your friend? Do this for me. Why he do this for me? He did it for her. You know what Napoleon gave Josephine as a wedding present? It was a gold locket. And on the inside, he made an inscription. Destiny. Oh, it is not your destiny to be with this married man. Oh. Hey, baby. Just be as selfish as he is. You acquired a paper for Victor? Now dump his sorry ass. <laughs> Is he gonna get the green stamp now? What do you have here? <sighs> this is this, right? This is this is she's gonna give him the green stamp or <gasps> No, it's not signed. To validate authenticity, it needs to be signed by the supervising officer. No, the bad dude. Why would he sign it? It's strange, isn't it, Victor? When you wait so long for one thing, one tiny moment. Is he quitting, moving, changing office? This badge means that I was made CBP field commissioner. Oh, he got it? it means that my authority over the security of this airport is absolute. Your ticket and your passport. Oh, that's a good sign. No, but he's got to go to New York first. Can you please show Mr. Noworski into the terminal and make sure that he does not miss his flight? But, 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 he's got to... Did he really not get to go to New York? Because it's kind of like I was remembering. I don't feel like I remember him ever leaving the airport. Don't make this difficult, Victor. And no more unacceptable. Yeah, you stand your ground. Are you sure you want to do that? I go to New York City. No. He better sign it. Part of my job as field commissioner is to get rid of undesirables. And there are quite a few. Well, you are undesirable, sir. Turns out he's been running an after-hour poker game, bringing in liquor and marijuana. Poor guy's gonna lose his pension. And I think he has kids, too. Wait, is that... that's his friends. But I'm gonna have to let him go. And then there's Gupta Raha. I'll have to deport him. I will go home. Leave them alone, I will go. Today? Yes. 
Victor, you're such a good person. So all of this and he just went home? You don't have to do this. Okay, you can fight these guys, okay? We'll help you. No, but they... You don't know. He's protecting you. Why don't you fight? You come this close to America, but you don't have the courage to go from here to here. He's doing something that requires more courage. Sacrificing something that means something to you to take care of others. What is going on? Nay, hey, what? Oh, why would he do that? He's not gonna get run over, right? What is he trying to accomplish? Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, what are you gonna do about that now? I'm going home. He's gonna go home. He's doing that for Victor. Delayed. <laughs> Oh, why so many guns? He's just holding a broom. That's... Do you have an appointment? <laughs> right behind you. They're doing it. Victor's leaving. Monica, Victor's leaving. I know, he's going home. He's going for the front door. He's going out to the city. What? That's the lady that laughed at him when he said he lived at Terminal 67. Oh, now they want to give him food. Okay, everybody in position. What if all of these people had helped him in the beginning instead? Oh, of course he wouldn't just let him leave. You see those doors? Those are the entry doors to New York City, to the United States of America. Turn around. You come so far. It's snowing in the city, and uh, you're gonna need that. He decided to finally help him. Arrest him! Arrest him! God! Of course he's gonna have a tent room. Is he actually leaving though? I... Oh, it's happening! Now I'm starting to wonder if I ever saw the end of the movie. There must be so... This must be like the first fresh air he smelled in like... Oh, I guess he was up on the patio. Yeah. But still, this must feel so freeing. Oh, it's her. I guess in a way, Victor is also unavailable. It's a different kind of unavailable than the other dude. Because, like, she's a flight attendant living in the US. And he's just here visiting and he's gonna go back to his own country and like it wouldn't really work out, would it? I'm Goran, Albania. Oh, when you come to New York. Oh. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> what? <laughs> he came there Thursday and he's already a taxi driver? Sir, you want us to signal red, block the south exit and have AP sweep every vehicle? That seems like a lot of effort to go through and cost of money to do that. 5.30 from Tokyo, just landed. Got two planes on the tarmac, Barcelona on approach. The night is young and 1,500 people are headed our way. Right choice. It just <laughs> it just took you forever to get there, but all right. And I mean, he knows, I guess, that he's going to come back because he doesn't have any intentions of staying in New York, does he? Plan is to go back home again once he's gotten the autograph, surely. You are Billy Colson. Yeah, yes, I am. Yeah. I am Viktor Noworski. I am from Krakosia. I think you're holding up them starting. Oh, oh, well, I tell you, can I do it a little later? We have to, we have to get started now. Just a minute. Oh, I, I will wait. Okay. You must have really good, like, lung capacity to play such an instrument, right? Or, I have no idea. I've never tried playing. Is it a saxophone? Oh, no, wait. Did you not get the autograph, or? Oh, he did get it. Yeah. You did it. Your dad would be so so proud of you and so happy to have collected them all. I think the only like famous person's autograph I have is Viggo Mortensen. Where do you want to go? I am going home. It's going home. That was a pretty nice evening, I would say. I think it was a good choice to watch the terminal, even though I have watched it previously, I did not remember 
everything. I couldn't even remember how it really ended. I'm now I'm doubtful if I ever actually saw it all the way to the end. But oh my gosh, Tom Hanks is such a good actor. Like seriously, that his his ability to express emotions with his face and just like his body language, like just just all of it. He's really good at it. I'm very very impressed with him. I definitely have to watch more of his movies. I don't know how many he's made, but uh, I don't think I've seen that many of them. So that's something you probably can look forward to on the channel in the future is more Tom Hanks movies. It was pretty like lighthearted, not too serious of a movie. And I don't feel like I got to like emo too much secondhand emotion because I, I did have uh, seen it before. So it wasn't so... It wasn't so overwhelming. I am someone that like I really feel what others feel. Um even if it's just made up in like a movie or such, I I just I just take it to heart, you know? And sometimes that can make it kind of like emotionally hard or emotionally exhausting to watch uh new things because I I just I guess I get a little bit too involved. <laughs> but the beauty of that is also that I have a really big amount of empathy and sympathy and it does make me who I am so I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be without it I'm rambling thank you so much for spending valentine's with me I hope uh, that you enjoyed watching the movie together and make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more movies together with me and give the video a like and I will see you next time okay take care of yourself bye